And welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2 for the fucking play Canadian Let's Play. We are here back in another episode where we are trying to uh, basically make Canada better than it is by becoming the social power that we can actually get back into the world. As we know, I was getting pretty much fed up with the capitalists and their just slow, slow expansion rate. I mean, we still, we are almost under my power, we grew about 20 factories. Underneath their power, we were only going about 20. About 5. So I'm so glad I switched over from socialism. And um, another thing is, is that you guys can see I did a big time leap. Like, we, we're about a couple months in. I just wanted to get to the point where we could actually do something because it was basically just 4 months of nothingness. Except, the only thing that really did happen is I did get an alliance with Germany. I'm not sure how helpful that is going to be in the long run, but we got an alliance with Germany. So, yeah. Um, so, Basically what I've decided to do, or what I've decided to do now, is since we have enough cores to go to war with China, let's go to war with China! And <laughs> what I'm planning to take out of this war is actually quite extensive. Um, actually, you guys can move over here on the border, because that's where we need to be. In fact, I should probably be moving all my troops to the border, because that's really where we're going to be fighting. Um, basically, in this war, we're going to be trying to take as much as possible. What do I mean by as much as possible? I mean as much as possible. And actually, you know what else I should do before I forget is actually I should build another army in um, America. Because we actually legitly don't have that big of an army in America. And yeah, we only have these guys protecting us. Well, we also have this death stack. But we need another death stack over here to kind of balance it out. So let me just quickly build an army. Let me see, Tibet, North America. Okay, six. No, I only need about... Four? Yeah, four because... No, no, because there's, there's always three, right? Is there three or two? Damn, I should probably check this before I do this. Okay, there's three already there. That means I need... Yeah, so that would be enough. So I need three right there. Three, six. Okay. Now I need about... I do need about evenly amount as many artillery, but I'll get them later. Let's get the horses done. Horses, two are two horses. Um, one engineer and one one um artillery okay there we go we got all marine composition and let's just put it to wait we have to see cashmere fears our might yeah crisis averted yeah and nepal fears our might yeah that that isn't really that important okay so now we're just gonna fast forward through because um i already put in an order to go to war with china like the chinese the Chinese take over more stuff of them is already in motion and basically what I'm planning to take on this war is I'm planning on taking three regions. That's as much or four possibly. I'm expecting to get like 4.0 at worst in terms of infamy. So that way what I'm planning on getting through this war is I want to get this region right here, this region right here, and this region right here. The reason why is because um, I want to basically cut China in half. That way, it'll be much easier in the future just to, you know, like, go to war for this or go to war for that. It'll be much easier. And I'm probably not going to call my British or my um, German allies in just because I want to do this by myself. So, yeah. And let me make sure. And the Yuan Nationalists have formed again. Wow, these guys really do not quit, may I add. They really severely like killing me. Okay, so once you're done with that, yeah, you guys just go exactly where you're supposed to go. You guys will all group up, and then we'll all have a good time. And what I was going to say is, um, how is my infrastructure doing? Oh, I guess it's also another point of reference. I did upgrade almost all my infrastructure, and it looks pretty fine right now. We're doing pretty well right now. Oh, I should probably upgrade my shipyards now, too, now that we have enough money. I mean, we want to make sure that our shipyards, even though I can't create that big of an army, per se... We want to make sure our shipyards are the top of the line, the envy of the world, so to say. Because we definitely don't want to be behind. Um, fort levels, we really don't have to worry about fort levels unless we're in, like, um, border colonies, like over here. Which, Chinton might be a good border colony, I'm not sure. Actually, we could probably extend this. Hmm. Nah. Nah, I really don't want any ports in China, just in case if I accidentally... If I actually have to release Korea. I don't want to release Korea, but if I do have to release the, S the Stanley Cup, what? Oh no, D don't tell me. So, Lord Stanley of Princeton was very intrigued by 
Ice Hockey and has become Governor General of the Domain. Originally inscribed the Domain Hockey Challenge Cup, the trophy was donated in 1892 by him as an award for Canada's top ranking amateur ice hockey club. Oh yeah! We just won the hockey club and go Toronto Dang. Ah, dang. I don't know many Toronto teams. All I know is that there's a Montreal, a Toronto, and Vancouver team. Yep, 4.0 infamy. I called it. I so called it. Okay. So, basically with that, um, I have a plan, which is I've decided I'm just going to give up Hawaii. A lot of you guys might be saying, oh, no, goodbye, Hawaii. Because, honestly, Hawaii is not giving us much. Let, I'll be honest with you. It's really, legitimately not giving us much. And, honestly, I really don't want to deal with it anymore, so... Hawaii is now gone. So now we can start focusing on other places. And now we got our infamy back. Which means we will still, even at the end of this, we will still have enough to just go kick the butt out of every single revolutionary. There'll be not, I mean not revolutionary, Chinese men. There'll be not enough Chinese men to come to me. And the capitalists have taken power again. I really don't want the capitalists in power anymore. I have given them so many chances to prove themselves. And they just basically just, you know, destroyed all my chances. So... I'm giving up on that. Okay, what do I need? Low pensions? No, everyone's pretty happy. Okay, since no one else really wants anything, let's go to healthcare! Yeah! We're getting that Canadian healthcare up! Okay, oh, we also need a technology. Um, technology that'd be good for this round, or good for now. Maybe some centralized businesses, or... Hmm. Colonial migration might help us. Hmm... Reinforcements might also help us to... Well, we only did maximum amount of factory. Factory... I, yeah, I think this would help us out in the, more, in the long run. Okay, yeah, it seems like we're being discredited. Also, um, when I can... Actually, I might save up like five. Get five. No, it'll probably take me about a couple years to get Quinn Yai out of the uh, American sphere. Because the Americans are going to fight me for this region. I can only tell you that. Um, yeah, we are barely going to be able to do this. So, um, yeah. That's just basically that. And... There's a thing going on with the Russians. What is it? Poland again. Of course, Poland. It's always in the news. Well, I don't really care about you, Russia. You kind of broke my trust a long time ago. But at the same time, I really don't want you guys to ever declare war on me. So I think I'm going to intense, intense, and ah, I'm just going to intention. Okay, I don't really care about Cheval. It really is not that important of a region to me at all. I mean, literally, it's a little south country, which I've always said many times. I don't care about South Africa in this playthrough. It's it's just a little like stupid region that the that the British and the uh, stupid Europeans mess with. We at the Canadians don't mind or bet or really care about them. Okay, so we got dig deep and greedy, um, greedy, uh, greedy. That's the word. All right, and yeah. Okay, production wise, what do we need? Well, let's see. Are we we have much more um, laborers coming in. Actually, we should. We actually do need many, many more laborers, so I'm going to start, like, influencing more craftsmen in almost all my areas. Because right now we're doing pretty good on, on, um, yeah, I was about to say, we're doing pretty good on immigration, so I'm going to encourage more of this. Um, what we can do is, uh, we're lacking, the, the sulfide is really becoming really bad. Um, luckily, we built this right next to each other, so this is probably helping this out a lot. Um... Okay, we could build a guns factory. Do we have a guns factory? We have a gun factory right here. This is being supplied, uh, dang. Entro to... Okay. You have to kind of, I don't know, you have to kind of think of this now, because it's not just like the old times where you could just like, um... Where you could just like plop a factory anywhere. They actually get bonuses now that they're actually right next to each other, so... You have to kind of think of it, um... Electrical gears. Electrical gears might be good because British Columbia is kind of like our new, um, is like our new growing and vibrant city. So we kind of need, or I mean, specifically I'm referring to Vancouver, but it's kind of our new vibrant city and we need to kind of make sure it keeps on growing. Okay, excellent. We got more fish, everyone. It's always what we need in, in Canada is more fish. All right, and um, taxes have increased because now since I'm socialist, they have increased, but I, you know, I was thinking about this, and honestly, since I don't raise tariffs, and I don't believe tariffs actually help you in the long run, yes, I'll say that right now, um, tariffs don't help you in the long run, um, I think, oh, great, they dispelled, they expelled me from China, 
I mean, from Quin Yang. Well, I hope the, uh, okay, how are the Chinese doing? The China, I mean, Japanese. The Japanese are doing pretty good. They might be able to whip them out of sphere. Alliance with Brazil, that sounds pretty risky. No, no offense, Brazil, but you don't seem like this. It almost, from experience, I know you guys aren't the most stable, so I won't. Oh, no, not terrorist cells. I hate those. Okay, so we got terrorist cells now in our country. Um, yeah, that's going to be great. So that's not what I'm concerned about. It's finally time for us to declare war, and this is probably going to be a longer episode because I want us to all fight this war out together, so... What region do we want? I think it's Jinsu. Jinsu. Let me make sure about this. Uh, uh, no, that's not region. Yeah, Jinsu. Okay. That's the region we want first, and then we're going to take as many regions from there as we want. It's going to take us a long time to whip. Okay, and we don't want to call in allies. Cause we, want to, we want to see if China can actually do this by ourselves. We have... I, I th honestly think we've been pushing on our allies way too long. It's finally time for Canada to do this by itself. So I'm going to move this army over here, and we're just going to play kind of a defensive-ish war. Well, not over here. And over here, I'm just going to go straight for the kill, like, because we have basically all blocked regions. Okay. And let's see, what is their mounting defense? Okay, so, yeah, basically my plan is, is that in these two regions, I'm going to try to defend. In these regions, I'm going to try to just move down. Honestly, China's military isn't going to be that hard, and since I don't... And since somebody told me in the comments that if you don't, if you don't like mobilize, usually these guys don't mobilize either, which is a very, very good thing. Because if China would mobilize, this would probably take so long. So I'm really glad China does not mobilize if you do not mobilize. Alright. And yep, another Chinese force is defeated. And as you can see, my forces up here are taking over quite quickly. Uh, you guys, stop with your stupid moving around. I'm sorry, but you guys are off duty for that. Just keep attacking Chinese men. That's all I want you guys to do. Well, actually, just defend first, and then we're going to go start killing off Chinese people. Just give me a little bit. We have to wait for our backwards armies to... Not backwards armies. Our back end armies to go do, do stuff. And we're going to be the first Europeans to go raid Beijing. What a crowning moment for us in this game. All right. So let's see. So actually, we could probably split you guys up. Um, one army goes right there, the other one goes right there, and then what I'll probably do is have this army right here go attack, um, Datong. And I know, and I know as an ignorant American I am pronouncing this horribly wrong. Please do not mark me too badly in the comments. It's just, uh, I don't know how to pronounce Chinese names. <laughs> just bluntly like that, I just don't know how to pronounce them. They are very, very, there is a very, very unique unique language for one and then trying to pronounce it is just like have it's just like hell just simply it's just like hell okay and we got more people coming in we have enough army to do stuff um oh wow we, i was supposed to be paying attention apparently we killed that 100k death stack not very hard it wasn't really much of a a challenge as i knew it would be i mean we're canada for heaven's sakes we have enough reputation, yeah, 15%. Should be enough now to add some war score. Yeah, way, way much. Okay, so what do we want? Let me just make sure I get this right. Okay. So we definitely want a connection right here so that we can start, like, doing stuff. Okay. Um, back to regions. So the next region we want is Northern Untai, and then we need Henan. So Northern Untai is the next region we need from you guys. Um, demand concession of Northern Untai. Uh, yeah, yeah, wait, wait. Yes, demand concession, northern untied. Yes. Okay, we gotta make sure we conquer this region too before that happens because sometimes you get really, really mad if you do. If the Casas Belly will just basically wear off if you do not conquer that. And we'll have enough infamy. Wow, we'll definitely have enough infamy to do everything I just, I just said. Wow, this is gonna be great. Okay, and we got men moving in. Why are you? Oh, I know why you're hunting rebels. Okay, you move right there, you move right there, you guys go kill those soldiers. I know this is going to be a very bloody battle. Ah, oh, yes, another bloody battle of exchanges. And the Chinese want to give me both of my... Wow, they, they're they definitely desperate. Okay, um, can I add my last region I want to add? Um, not yet, I need to get a little bit more war score and then we can add it. And then we can basically just divide China in half. And basically have an entire land route to our Yuanian region. 
which is going to be awesome. Okay, I know you guys want peace. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll give you guys peace. We'll give you guys the time of day to have peace, just not yet. <laughs> we still need to take some regions from you. Okay, you can actually go take down these guys. Because we want to make sure these guys die. And then intervene immediately. Okay, we have... Okay, we have you guys. You guys can go down here. Go kill off more. Yep, the Battle of Jinsu. We knew we were going to win. You guys go kill off more Chinese. Okay. And you guys, I guess you guys just move in slightly. You, you move in slightly too. Oh man, this land's going to be so great once I conquer it too. Because I'm going to gain like almost everything. It's such a lucrative land. Or, yes. I think that's what I would. I'm trying to... Okay. In the comments, somebody tell me. I'm trying to look for a word that is meaning very plentiful of resources and riches. Um, if anyone could help me with that, that'd be really not. Nice. That'd be really cool. Okay. Um, yeah, we're just moving in. This is a really casual thing. Okay. Let me see. Can I add one more? Okay, I need one more Casas Bele, which is in Henin. I need Henin. Henin right there. Okay, once you give me all of those three regions, China, then we can call peace. Until then, I'm going to hunt you down like a dog. And you are going to die. Okay. And it seems like they're trying to be a little bit cheeky and use their advantages over there to their advantages. Well, I have both of my troops moving in at a faster, faster rate. This is, <laughs> this is just basically a slaughter. I kind of feel just slightly bit bad about doing this, but... Um, it's really, it, it's, it's honestly nothing personal. I just need, well, maybe, maybe it was not like, it, this wasn't like a general goal of my empire just to go in. Okay, over here I'm going to build some luxury clothes, no, not luxury, luxury furniture factory. Right here next to it, good, good, yeah, it seems like a good buy. Alaska, I only have an oil foundry. Well, eventually there should be oil in Alaska. Somebody mentioned that to me, which was one reason why we should have conquered Alaska, okay. Alright, we almost have the region of this. Okay, they seem to be pulling out now, now that they realize that I am right next to the borders. Which is a smart decision, considering I'm right next to the borders, and I'm really rapidly conquering a lot of their land. Okay, actually I probably should keep these guys right here, because they keep trying to use that stupid advantage right there to go into my land, which is kind of stinking, not gonna deny. Okay, colonial migrations. We got more people coming to our colonies, and we do need some steel. Do we need that? Administration, factory output tech. Hmm. Do we need anything? Maybe that might actually be very effective. Yeah, let's do it. Sounds like something. It sounds like something socials would do too. Is have like major clocks almost everywhere around their factories, like. Okay, everyone, this is when you punch in, this is when you punch out. You punch in at 9 in the morning, and you don't punch out until 3 days later. Okay, there we go. Uh, and no, okay, and just so everyone knows, I'm just making jokes, I'm not actually being serious, okay? And yes, I know they're not, they're not very good jokes. I just love, I just love, eh, I just love cracking wise ones sometimes. Or unwise ones, which, whichever one you consider. Alright. So now we have just lots of Chinese troops roaming around. They, they're basically in disarray now. I, I've won. Way won. I'm just waiting for them to give me that peace treaty sign so I can just go in and just go end this. Yeah, these really these troops are not anything to be feared. They actually won't do anything to my land because they can't conquer it. Okay, you guys go right here. You guys go right there. Let's see. How many more days do we have until this one runs out? Because that's when this is the one I'm really worried about. Okay, it doesn't seem like... It doesn't seem like this one will run out anymore, so that's good. So that means we can just go around and just go kill off a lot of these guys. Alliance with Mexico. Uh, Ombre, I don't think I will get an alliance with you. Um, let's see. Get some upper house conservatives, communists, yay! Exactly what we want for once. That's exactly what we want in this Canadian communist country. Technically, we are still a liberalistic country. We just have communists conveniently in power. So, anyone can explain that to me? Because <laughs> that, that just solidifies in my mind that we are definitely more communist than thought. Because I'm starting to advocate for the fact that we, that we still do have a democratic system. But in reality, we really don't. Because at any point in this entire Let's Play, I can just switch over to a different party and decide who actually wins. So, 
you know, I just realized Canada wasn't really that liberalistic from the beginning, so, you know, maybe it's a good thing that we are communists, because it kind of does fit our goals much better than the, uh, so-called puristic capitalist system. Alright, and that's enough rationally, rationalizing from my head. Alright, let's see, do we need more factories? Oh, I have so much money, I feel like I just have to keep spending on factories. See, that's one good thing about having capitalists, though, is that they do automatically build stuff, but they build it so slowly if you don't have enough of them in your country. So, alright, and are you about ready, China? China, come on, you guys know you want to, you guys know you don't want to do that. Okay, well, we'll just keep splitting you up, it's okay. Um, in fact, I think next time we go to war with these guys, we'll basically be able to annex them just outright. Alright, 2.5, whatever. And, basically, we have lots of little tiny armies. Nothing, yeah, nothing really to fear. <laughs> um, in fact, you, I'll go send you on a war camp. Oh, actually, I could go just go send those guys up there to go on a war campaign. Alright, you guys go right there. You go right there. You get to go on the war campaign. So the war path, everyone! The war path! And there, and there. There you go. That should kill off the rest of them. Um, now, are you ready to con concede all my demands, China, this time? Demand Jinza, demand... Okay, yep, yep, we got it, everyone, we got it! Okay, everyone, big high fives! One, two, three! Ah, uh, you didn't do a good enough high five. Okay. Demand what I want! And all my troops are already in the region, that is awesome! Oh, yes, so now my China has now stretched from all the way in this little part of Tibet all the way over here, and now we have, like, China split up severely. Um, this is now starting to be just, we are really making that Chinese empire I wanted, and honestly, oh my goodness, it's, uh, I am so happy right now, I'm just such so over enthusiastic right now I mean we have a Chinese Empire basically if I must be honest with you our population grew by another like 10 million that means um how many Anglo Americans actually control the world okay okay we actually went up so 5.0 Anglo Canadians now control the world which is a good thing because it would make me really sad if, if it only said like 2.0 yeah 2.0 Canadians control the entire aspect of um, Canada. But anyways, episode, everyone, episode, everyone, and <laughs> thank you, episode, for bringing me this lovely episode. No, no, that doesn't work. All right, thank you guys for watching. Um, this was kind of a weird episode because I was very, very scatterbrained and I was very, very, uh, I was being my very artistic and hyper self so anyways hope you guys enjoyed this episode we conquered a lot more of china and i'll see you guys next time